What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to mitigate some security risks that maybe even that you're dabbling in and that a lot of people fall victim to. I'm Cyber Tom. We're back for another video here, and we got a cool one today. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that you can mitigate a lot of threats that come just by surfing the internet. One of the worst downfalls of security risk in organizations are gonna be malicious links that come to you, as well as malicious files. Now, this happens day-to-day -day, just going about your day-to-day -day business it can happen to somebody uh, at an office it can happen to somebody at home uh, you get an email and it's got a link and you click that link and the damage is done or you get an email it's got a nice you know uh, welcoming uh, word document you click it and all of a sudden your computer is compromised and now anything on that network is starting to be infiltrated let's talk about how we can mitigate that let's look at the first way through some kind of malicious link so what happens when you click on a malicious link so here you are in a good scenario you send a request to an HTTPS server this request is to access their site. The site then responds and your laptop populates with the application. In a bad instance, you send a request to a malicious command and control or a C2 and the C2 server, instead of sending the application packets to your PC, it sends malicious code that tells this device you are on to command and control back to this device and write information this way to this malicious server. Now, there are a few ways that you can vet out malicious links. I have found a great one that I think is good for a lot of people that uh, even if you are just wanting to be secure at home, it's good for you. Uh, and obviously, if you're doing this in some type of environment um, as an employee. So what we're going to check out is SquareX. And I think this has just been an awesome product. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys and see if you can incorporate it into your daily life because it's something that's going to keep you protected in this world of nonstop malicious attacks. So a little bit how it works. So here is the main page here. It's kind of an integrated extension. That's what I really liked about it. It's got a little drop down extension here where you can, can select what part of the country you wanna open a disposable browser. This means that you have a browser at your fingertips that is literally able to be opened in a secure environment sandbox so you don't have to worry about any malicious links attacking your PC or those on your network. So what you do is you click down on this Dropbox, you pick one, say you want to open up in Germany, and you hit start. And look at this. You have yourself a sandboxed version of your browser. Now you can simply go here and go wherever you need to go. I mean, how cool is that? It doesn't get much cooler than that. This is great for if you are in the scenario where you get an email or somebody sends you a link, and maybe it looks a little weird to you and it doesn't look right. Easily take that link, drop it into the URL of the browser. Or alternatively, you could do this also, which I think is even cooler. If you're outside of the secure browser, and you search, let's go ESPN, why not? You can right click here, go down to Square X, go over to whatever country you want to, and let's just say UK. Open up inside of that disposable browser. I mean, another cool thing it does. When you have a malicious file 
what is happening with the malicious file? Well, it's simple. The, the file, when you click it, is writing some kind of arbitrary code to your device that can do a numerous amount of things depending on what the code is written for. It can change passwords, it can take data, it can encrypt data. No longer do you have to worry about it with this tool. Let me show you this real quick. So how you can do this is pretty simple. Go down here, we'll just make a real quick file real quick. Let's call this file, you know, whatever. We'll put hello, file viewer, okay? Let's save this. And we'll save this to the desktop and we will save. Now we go over here, open a new tab and go down to the disposable file viewer. Now that we have that, we open it up it's gonna open up a sandbox the same way it did before. Browse files, desktop, there's our file, let's open it. And the file pops up here. We can clearly see what exactly was in that file and you've done it in a non-malicious way. If any code is trying to arbitrarily write to your device, it's not gonna be able to inside of this sandbox. Downloading malicious files can also cripple networks. With SquareX, they give you the download interceptor as well, which is a sandbox that's gonna allow you to open up these files securely to check them out for yourself before you go ahead and put them on your PC. These are the real cool tools that you need to be looking out for, especially somebody who's looking to be in cybersecurity. Make sure that you're on top of this stuff. You want to get the latest tools that are out there. You want the little fancy trinkets to keep yourself secure. And you know what is really going to benefit you is when you go to talk to hiring managers and you go to talk to people in the field and they're asking you about what are some of the things that you do to stay secure. These are the kind of things that you should be doing uh, in your daily routine. It doesn't matter if you're brand new. If you're a veteran, have been working in the field for a while, everybody needs to stay on top of this kind of stuff and make sure that you are secure. You don't want to be clicking malicious links. That is, you know, grade A and bad cybersecurity practice. You don't want to be downloading random files to your computer that can be infecting you and causing harm to other people on your network. Get yourself grounded with some good tools this is a great one guys and i do think that you should check it out um, it is inexpensive and it's just something you keep up in your browser that you can use to add to your daily cyber if you want to learn more about this and you're like you know what that's something that i could use it's inexpensive then click the link down in the description and you can go ahead and get yourself registered for squarex if you do, let me know how it's working out for you. I want to know that these products are making a difference for people. I want to know that it's impactful for your daily life and keeping you and everybody else secure. So comment down below and let me know if it's working out good for you, some of the features you like, some of the features you don't. Um, let's collaborate. Let's talk about these things. That's what's good about IT. We can sit together and talk about different tools we like and dislike. So again, guys, if you're interested in SquareX, click the link in the description down below. Get yourself the disposable browser and get yourself the disposable file viewer. These are things that can integrate into your life seamlessly and continue to make you secure.